Well, I've gotten a lot of good feedback from the two videos I posted about this Foco. And one uh, comment was from, uh, he's the master. He said, print out two schematics and use one for showing what you've changed and what you've tested and you just use the other one just to follow. So you're not making a, a big mess on all just one paper. And I went back and reviewed the papers I've used before. And it, according to the dates, I started on this thing six years ago and it's still, still won't work. And some of the other comments were, check the, uh, the voltage on the speaker, make sure that's good enough voltage, uh, and check the IF cans. Because the, uh, I thought I've checked the IF cans way back, but uh, like I said, I'm not sure. I did check one, the first can, I didn't see anything wrong, but I don't know about the other two, so it could be just as easy as a broken wire that's holding this thing back. I'm trying the, uh, the AM radio test for you to see if the oscillator works. And, uh, nothing. I decided to go high tech and break out the 14 year old laptop. I got the Philco service. It's not a manual, it's like about 10 pages, but it, uh, it's all about troubleshooting. So this one just goes through all the, uh, breaks it down, I believe, into five different stages or sections, and you just troubleshoot each section. So I guess that's where I'm going to, let me start with the antenna section and just work my way from there. Uh, just check out voltages and see what's what. Well, the section one test results are in, and two sections aren't too good. Um, let's see, what is it? Section two. It's supposed to be 350 volts. I have 328. And section four is supposed to be 208 volts. And I have 296. So they have suggestions on what could be wrong. Well, I'm not quite done yet. I did find one. I was going through the uh, repair list. This uh, resistor I had a bad connection. I had to resolder that. And then I started doing some... Uh, Voltage checks real quick. Uh, two 6K6s for the output. So let's have uh, 280 volts on the plates, and I have uh, 278 on both. And then on a grid, it's supposed to be 290 on both, and I've got 281 for both. So at least they're consistent. A little bit low, probably had the uh, um, vary act down a little bit. I probably had it at 110 instead of 117. Uh, but I did find something I wasn't sure about. This is the, the plug for the speaker. Tested the wires. There's four connections on it. Tested the wires. They all have continuity. And then I took a voltage check on each one to see what I'd get. And on the, I got it written down here. The green one, I got six, I guess, milli volts. It said 6M volts. I'm not 100% sure what that is. If you can tell me, that would be great. Uh, on the red wire, I got minus 202 volts. The white one, I got zero volts. And the orange one, I got 468 volts. Uh, so that didn't sound right. That, did, but that would explain why it doesn't play. I know the speaker plays because I hooked it up to the other Philco and it plays great. So there's something with the voltage going to the speaker. So I'm still stuck in around here. I did all the checks and uh, everyone has continuity. Everything looks like it's, it's good. I did voltage checks to the tubes. Uh, so I'm kind of stuck. So if you understand what could possibly be wrong, why it would give me these crazy readings, yeah, just write in the comments. All right, this is really the end of the video and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.